On new tonight, 10 o'clock parents before you head off to bed tonight. Listen to this new research is shedding some startling insight into what companies know about you and your children. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks has the details on the research and shares why you should be paying more attention to the apps that your kids are using. Is it possible your kids apps are spying on them? Software company Pixelate CEO Jalal Nasir shares alarming new stats revealed in the company's latest study centered around apps for kids that track data. Categorizing each and every single app uh, that might appe appeal to children. It shows more than two thirds of the most popular iPhone apps likely used by kids collect and send their personal information to advertisers. When it came to Android, 79% of potential apps for kids do the same. The question is why have you done it? That information could include location, internet address, and a code that can identify the child's device. There's a law in place to prevent all this called the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. It was passed in 1998 to prevent companies from gathering personal information for kids under the age of 13. According to the Washington Post, the way app developers get around this is by offering kid-friendly content without labeling it as a kid's app and never asking the user their age. That way, the apps can claim they don't know they're collecting data from children. And that is quite alarming. Tech security expert and University of Maryland professor Jen Golbeck weighed in. You can do what's called geofenced advertising, where I draw a little box say around a school or around an um, ice cream shop and then I only send ads to people whose phones walk into that space. Saying parents should always monitor their kids cell phone usage. They're finding ways to go around our preferences. Both Google and Apple dispute this study. Apple says it disagrees with the premise of the research from Pixelate and the company has a conflict of interest because it sells services to advertisers. Google disputed how the company determined whether an app was aimed at kids. Trisha Hendricks, 12 News.